black bars. And now I just want to test it out a little bit. I adjusted some of the audio levels. I wanted to turn the game audio up a little bit, but hopefully it's not interfering with the uh, webcam audio and it's just picking me up. I'm really hoping that's going to be the case. So this is, again, just like a little bit of a test here just to see what's going on. I'm not going to be on for very long. Uh, that's why I'm just doing all this chit-chatty talk and stuff to test out the audio. So if it sounds like I'm babbling, that's sort of on purpose. Uh, basically what I did though was um, I put the, well I readjusted the overlay so I moved some of the borders around a little bit to make it just the right size to fit the, uh, to fit the setup. The, the reason why it's set up like that, it's from the a, a, um, overlay from actual extra life, but it's set up I think uh, for modern gaming systems, not so much retro ones. I mean, the actual life thing is about playing games, not necessarily retro games. Although I'm going to be playing retro games all day. Uh, for the challenge, I wanted to, uh, you know, get it set up so I could get my proper aspect ratio. So I had to do a little bit of finagling. I moved a lot of stuff around, I added a few details myself to the overlay, as you can see, um, right there. So the idea, though, is that I get rid of the black bars that were around it. So I actually have the overlay set up as an overlay. I put the, um, the center part of it, before I just had the the sort of screen or whatever of the gameplay on top of the overlay, but in fact it is an overlay. So I made the center part transparent and adjusted the size of the borders, um, which kind of caused things at the bottom to to really droop down a lot as you can see the if you're comparing it to one of the other videos you can see at the bottom there is uh quite small there used to be like text down there and used to be text at the top as well so i moved some of that text over to that sort of sidebar i had in the middle where i had myself uh my sort of logo and the uh team i'm on always player two logo i had those sort of like all down that middle part i got rid of some of that move that stuff there so i'd be able to um, you know, fit that stuff in still, but um, be able to get the right aspect ratio. So now you can see the screen's nice and big, which is exactly what I want. I think that's probably sort of like the best plan for this. I think this is probably be about as good as it's going to get as far as uh, the setup goes. Really would love to be able to um, integrate with Extra Life on the donations and things like that. They're going along with this, but unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. I don't think not with uh, with uh, OBS Studio. It seems to work with the other one, um, regular OBS. But I've done all my work here in OBS Studio, so it's kind of hard to migrate over to the other system now. I don't know. I'll look into it and I'll see as we get closer here. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, maybe on their end, they could fix something and get it to work with OBS Studio because that would be absolutely wonderful. I'd love to be able to, uh, you know, get it, your, your name pop up when you make a donation or when somebody makes a, uh, when I, you know, like toward my goal kind of thing, how close I am to my goal. Although I'm really hoping uh, people are generous and easily achieve my goal. All I put down was a hundred bucks because, well, I don't, uh, I didn't know like how well this was gonna go over with people. I don't know about my my fan base from YouTube if uh, you know a lot of them would be making donations or not. So uh, I've heard some really good things, and I've got uh, some people coming over, like my my retro buddies kind of thing uh, coming on over. They're gonna come play some games with me. So I'm looking forward to that because that's gonna help to keep me awake during that 25 hour stream kind of thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that early in the morning stuff's going to be really rough uh you know getting around like two three o'clock in the morning uh it's going to be kind of rough because at that point i'm playing pretty much all day it goes from i tried to avoid that i knew that was coming but uh yeah so that's going to be the, probably the roughest part is getting through that part of it but i'm still looking forward to it i'm like absolutely overjoyed at the idea of uh, being able, you know, to help out. That's sort of my whole plan with it. So, yeah, if uh, you know, even if you're on or 
you're coming and supporting the cause or if you can even spread the word that would be so wonderful uh you know spread it on social media let people know what i'm doing here uh get them honed in on always player two uh make sure they're aware of jason hay because he's really the one that uh is the leader of this team it goes by canadian zangief that's his youtube channel so you should go check that out for sure um and it was sort of the tragedy in his life that sort of got me and getting going on this i i heard his story of loss uh in his family his uh, son magnus unfortunately i don't want to get into this right now because i'm starting to get teary i just thinking about it but um uh, you know he had complications i'm not really sure of every last detail of it nor do i really want to go into it because it's probably just going to make me uh cram my eyes out here so uh but yeah that tragedy in you know in his life kind of thing and uh, just spoke to me and and i said i really want to get in on this and help you out with that because i know uh he's doing this you know to honor his sort of son kind of thing and it was supposed to be his always player too and that's the name of our team so um you know that's what really got me going on this and i hope other people are are feeling the same sort of need to help out kind of thing because uh if you wonderful if uh, other families didn't have to go through the things that uh, he's had to go through that's for sure um but nonetheless i do recommend you highly highly go check out his youtube channel if you're not subscribed to him already i know some of you probably are um but if you're not definitely check him out because uh, he's a great guy for sure and i've mentioned him in numerous videos so really it shouldn't be, you know, if you've watched my videos or anything like that, you should know everything about that. So, yeah, um, that's about all I got to say about that right now. It's like I said, just checking out how everything's going to look later on so I can look back through this stream and see exactly what's happening. Um, yeah, so if anybody is watching right now, because again, my, my usual habit here is I didn't pull up my Twitch chat. Which I probably could right now, and we'll just see if anybody's actually um, on here. So you should excuse me for a second while I'm doing this. But uh, the previous, I bought a computer to do this, and it just was not really cutting the cutting the job. Not cutting the job, cutting the mustard. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it wasn't really doing the job. So I'm really happy that uh, I was able to you know, get into, get into it kind of thing. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to figure out how to get to my chat now. Mm -hmm. Went to the wrong thing, went to the video manager. of it. Just pop out this chat. Sorry, I'm a little slow on me. Okay. Pop out. Alright. Well, I don't think anybody's watching right now. If you are, please let me know and uh, put something in the chat there and I'll be able to see that. not really trying my best here like I said just testing things out but this is definitely gonna be a game I'll be playing on that day for sure and just uh, I'm really enjoying it just testing it out it's kind of fun so oh, 
oh, punched me in the head there. And again, like, oh, am I like totally cornered? what I'm doing at all here I really have to get my game on <laughs> but yeah I'm just I'm on for a second I'm gonna be off of here and uh, I'm gonna be off here pretty soon so just kind of testing things out just want to know how it looks so comment in the chat there tell me how everything sounds how everything looks if, if something's too high or too low or you get weird feedback or something doesn't look right to you let me know because uh, this is all about like I said just be testing things out I want to make sure it works I never had a whole ton of experience uh, with these turtle games the one I really played was uh, the arcade version on the NES that was the one I played and I know everybody rants and raves about the Super Nintendo version of this game but um, <laughs> I never really played it. I mean, I played it a little bit when a buddy came over kind of thing and we were checking it out. Uh, but not, I never really played it as a kid, didn't have a Super Nintendo. Yeah, I know, I got, I got other things I got to do tonight. I was just, really just trying to get this overlay set up down. I don't know if you saw some of the other streams there, but, uh, I was getting problems with the aspect ratio, the uh, whatever it is, 4 by 9 kind of thing. It just wasn't looking right because there's like black bars and stuff. It was just kind of a waste of space. I think I've really optimized it to look uh, perfect. Yeah, I know like everybody's a huge fan of that Super Nintendo game, and I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, I'm a fan of it. Like, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but. I didn't play it like other people played it. I never played it back in the day. I did play the uh, arcade cabinet a little bit. Like, you know, it wasn't, there wasn't a lot of arcades because I kind of grew up in the sticks sort of thing. So, um, there wasn't really a lot of arcades kind of thing. So, I saw it like a couple times. Maybe if I like went somewhere special, it would be there. And I played it. I definitely chucked ch a bunch of quarters into that. That and uh, the Simpsons arcade. I remember playing that one too. Probably when I was around 13. Put quite a bit of cash into that one. A buddy of mine, a buddy and I were like playing. We played it like I think all the way through. We were just dumping quarters into it because it was like our first ever play of it. We saw it and we were just like, yeah, because we're huge Simpsons fans. Back yeah, the zombies. Uh, yeah, the zombies one I did, yeah. Right. And again, that was another one. It's like, I didn't have a Super Nintendo, so my buddy did, but um, I really, I mean, I only really saw him ever playing games. I never really got in on it myself that much. Maybe a little bit of Mario Kart or like some Street Fighter or whatever, but um, yeah. This is a great game though for the Genesis. I love it. Yeah, man, uh, I mean, I, I didn't have a Super Nintendo until I started retro collecting. That's how crazy it was. I mean, I played maybe a couple games on emulator or something like that. That was about it. So. better than today, earlier on, when I was going to stop. Had some little bit of luck going there. Wow. 
but I didn't have a whole ton of games for the Genesis. Like, I had a Genesis, that was my system back then. Because uh, I saw Sonic and, like, near freaked out when I originally saw Sonic, and I was like, I'm getting one of those. And as a kid, I had a job in a restaurant, so I was able to, you know, and I lived at home, so obviously I didn't have expenses or anything like that. So. But uh, I'm probably going to get off here in a second. I just wanted to test out my new overlay and make sure everything looks good. And I'll probably just go on to Twitch here and check out how everything looked at the end, end result, how everything sounded, and see if I want to tweak anything else. It's coming along pretty nicely, I think. Uh, especially from a guy who like never did a lot of live streaming before. <laughs> getting used to like talking and playing at the same time, I never, uh, never really had to do that very much, maybe talking to a friend, but I feel like, I, you know, I know I'm talking to people that are listening, but uh, uh, they're not in the room with me, so I'm not really used to that so much, especially when there's no like chat back, I mean, the chat's just uh, me looking at what like what people are saying. I think it would be so much better if I could actually communicate with people, like hear what they're saying. Um, so I used to play like Ultima Online and I had like a headset and chat thing going on. But, you know, and that would be like, you know, be having a conversation. I know it'd be kind of weird maybe for this because it'd be like people getting in there that would just be uh, not welcome to chat, I guess. Maybe that's why they don't have that option, but... Yeah, I'll check my Twitch after and see if there's anything going on that's a problem. What part is jittering? Is the uh, game or is it the... Um, let me just see. I'll, I'll shut down like anything else that's open that doesn't need to be kind of thing. Maybe that'll do something. Let me just see here. I noticed there was a uh, jitter. I watched the video earlier. There's a one jitter I noticed when I was watching my uh, previous stream that I did earlier on today for this game. I'm trying to find like a lot of uh, two-player games. As mentioned this, I think earlier I keep kind of saying the same things in every stream, but for the for the uh, the day of like the actual 24-hour live stream kind of thing. I'm hoping to find like a lot of like multiplayer games for these con like consoles and sort of get a nice list of them going. And I'll probably pre-pick out a whole. Oh, okay, this guy here is just really getting up there. Um, there. <laughs> um, pick out like a lot of two-player kind of games because if people are coming over, I want them to be playing, not watching or something. You know. Yeah, it could be the laptop, I don't know. A lot of things like play into it. I, uh, like I was saying before, I had another computer down here I bought solely for the purpose of doing this and I had to go get my beefier computer that has like more RAM and stuff like that from upstairs and bring it down here. Uh, and it's probably gonna stay down here actually because that other laptop's doing exactly what I needed, or not laptop, sorry, the other desktop that I bought, a little cheaper one does everything I need for it to do up there, so I'm not even too concerned about it. Like, it was just the streaming aspect I needed, the beefier computer, so I was hoping to get away with it, but couldn't. Could, I could, like, stream, and I couldn't even, like, open an internet window at all. If I tried to open, like, a Chrome window, it just, it wouldn't even load. So, couldn't pull up my chat or anything, or have my chat open. So I had to get this one. How's it going, Liquid Wayno? Back again, are you? Super off-road is multiplayer. 
Is that the NES one or the, um, is there a Super Nintendo one? So I know there's like a off-road game on regular Nintendo. Yeah, I'll oh, definitely be playing some hockey, sure. I need I need to find something that uh, also has, like, you know, maybe later on I'll find something that's like a little slower paced when I start slowing down the reflexes because I wouldn't be able to play a game like this for 24 hours kind of thing. It's way too much button mashing. Maybe like, um, you know, a tactical thing like Shining Force or something. I'll be throwing in there. <laughs> yeah, it could, it's probably Super, you're right, Super Nintendo, Super Off-Road. Of course, the other one might be just called Off-Road, I don't know. That, I think it's like the same game, basically, but just the Super Nintendo one's gonna look better. I was thinking like Mario Kart, but the one on the Super Nintendo, that's only like the battle mode, I think, isn't it? It's multiplayer, I'm not sure. Again, not so familiar with it. It'd be kind of funny to watch me play Mario Kart. I'd probably get like completely shame and guilted into turning it off. Yeah, Street Fighter would be kind of cool. That's just a button mash for me, though. That's for sure. Oh, I was trying to get over that pizza too, I just couldn't do it. Ah, oh, these guys are about 200 here. Get out of there.
I've been watching your streams there, uh, Liquid, for sure, man, and, uh, they look really good. I like your overlay and everything you got going on there. It's pretty sweet. Kind of got, like, uh, an idea from just, like, watching yours, how to lay out the, you know, the whatever it is, 9 by whatever it is. Four by nine, whatever it is, I don't even know what the aspect ratio is. I was trying to get out of his way, but it did not work. And that was just not even my fault. Ah, come on. I was doing better earlier today. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, Connor. Uh, I just been like, uh, I gotta get it together here. Ridiculous. Even jump out of his way, I still don't seem to be getting hit here. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm about to like go down with this here. So Ridiculous. I was having this trouble with them earlier on today, I swear. Go check out the other stream. Wasn't that brutal? What's a free B free PBX? What's that? Yeah, Derek's a hard guy to figure out how many different names he got. He's got, man, he's got like DG13, and he's got this one here, and then he's Derek, and he's in Two Dorks channel. <laughs> it must be like an international man of mystery or something. Thing I gotta figure out here is some lighting for my YouTube videos. Oh my goodness. 
It's getting brutal lately. I had like a little lamp or something down here that I used to use to light things. That wasn't great, but at least it did something. But that thing broke, so. videos are so dark it's unbelievable and then it starts looking grainy too and it's not like that's it's not like I have a really good quality camera so <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not the truth. I mean, he's got like, uh, he's got like serious lighting going on and whatever in his videos, so there's some guys like really, really good, like, really crisp looking video they got going on. I want to bring mine a little bit to that level, but I'm trying to, I try to do it cheaply, like, the idea is to, uh, you know, spend money on games, not be spending money on stuff to show off games, that's my problem, so I'm trying to make do with kind of what I have, but I'll figure out some cheap lighting anyways. I've seen a few YouTube videos that are like all about that kind of thing. They're just like, yeah, there's a couple lamps like this and it can look pro, some wax paper or whatever, parchment paper. <laughs> I'm using the, it's like a knockoff GoPro thing, it's not nearly as good, but uh, it does the job in like in regular lighting it looks fine, but uh, just down here I've got these like energy efficient bulbs and stuff down here, um, and it just psh, looks brutal. Um, when it's lit up, when it's lit up right it looks great, so that's what I'm really hoping for is just get some proper lighting. There's a lot of shadows down here for sure. Um, so I just want to like brighten it up and that kind of thing. But uh, that's about all I'm going to be doing for this guys. So thanks a lot. Let's just put in my high score. Don't think I'll be uh, winning any <laughs> winning any major thing. Yeah, small floodlight and parchment paper. Yeah, like your videos look good, man. So that's kind of the thing I'd be going for. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head off here because I want to watch the. Uh, 
what is it, The Walking Dead from last night, not The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead that I was watching. It was on last night, but I was live streaming, so couldn't, and then, uh, yeah, basically, go do that, and then go to bed. I got work tomorrow, school starting up. So, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, probably is, man. Well, anyways, like I said, I'm out of here, so thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys.